With James Comey set to testify tomorrow, it is clear that President Trump is having a sad exclamation point week. <laughs> and now, on top of all of that, his third favorite son, Eric, is in hot water of his own. Late Tuesday, the president's son, Eric, lashing out at those who oppose his father's administration. So with the destroy Trump media floating baseless Russia conspiracy theories every second of every day, and of course, Democrats on Capitol Hill desperately searching for any evidence of collusion, well, President Trump's sons, they are now coming to his defense. Joining us now, the man himself, executive vice president of the Trump organization. I've never seen hatred like this. I mean, it, to me, they're not even people. It's, it's so, so sad. I mean, morality's just gone. Um, morals have flown out the window. Wow. <laughs> wow. The same guy, the same guy who got so upset when Hillary called his dad's supporters deplorables is now saying that Democrats aren't even human beings, really? And he didn't even warm up to it in the interview. It was practically the first thing out of his mouth. I can only imagine what it's like on a first date with Eric. Hey, great to meet you, Ashley. Do you do anal? <laughs> I don't know about you, but whenever I see this sort of thing, it makes me wonder, how did this person get this way? And then yesterday, a story came out that sort of helped me understand a bit. Forbes magazine published an article exposing where some of the money that Eric Trump raised for charity was actually going. Now to that blockbuster new report raising serious questions about the Trump Organization and charity golf events that were meant to raise money for children with cancer. Forbes magazine reports hundreds of thousands of dollars in charity expenses went to the Trump family business, despite Eric saying many of the costs would be covered by the Trumps. You have money that starts as other people's donations where they think that they're giving to charity, and it appears to end up as revenue at a Trump club. Wow. Taking money that was meant for kids suffering from cancer to line your own pockets, that is... I mean, that is just... So, so sad. I mean, morality's just gone. Um, morals have flown out the window. My man. <laughs> so... So when I first read this story, I thought, wow, this guy's such a dirtbag. But that's not entirely fair, honestly, because... Eric Trump did raise millions of dollars for the St. Jude Children's Hospital. In fact, they even put his name on a hospital wing, right? I mean, not a picture, just his name, right? Uh, those poor kids have been through enough. <laughs> but still, they like him. And this brings us to how Eric went from using his incredible privilege to help the less fortunate to being the guy skimming from charities. And it turns out he fell in with a bad crowd. Forbes says problems started with the charity when Donald Trump allegedly demanded the foundation be charged for using the facilities. Donald came in and said, you know what, we're gonna start billing you guys. Even though this is a charity event, even though this is for kids for cancer, we want you guys to pay. Even though this is for kids with cancer, we want you guys to pay. That is heartless and also the theme of Trump's new health care plan. Oh, and, and if that wasn't bad enough, Daddy Trump also starting... He started charging his son's charity 500% more than a venue would usually charge. That's what he also did. Yeah. So I guess, at the end of the day, we're starting to understand that this is the curse of being one of Donald Trump's children. You can try and be good, but he'll be like, no, 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 don't do that. You're a Trump. <laughs> and now, Eric might as well be one of Trump's buildings. He's not as popular as he once was, and if you look deep, you'll find that he's also empty on the inside. Hey, everyone. Before you click over to another YouTube uh, contouring tutorial, uh, just a, a reminder, watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com. Now you can go on your way. Remember, it's all about the cheeks. The lines and the cheeks.